Well, hold on to your hats because uh, the report's going around that Vin Diesel is beefing with yet another one of his co-stars in the Fast and the Furious franchise, this time Aquaman, Jason Momoa, who, in my estimation, was the best part of Fast X. Now, of course, this is all coming off the fact that, you know, Jason Momoa comes in, plays the villain. I think he's probably the best villain they've ever had in the Fast and Furious franchise. I really loved his character. When Jason Momoa, you could tell he was having a blast playing this character in an otherwise pretty bad movie, but he was having a lot of fun and he made it fun for me as an audience member watching him when he was on screen. I love what he brought to it. Now, Vin Diesel is known for having a big, big public feud and falling out with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, which led to Dwayne Johnson leaving the franchise. Apparently he's coming back in, but won't be in a movie with Vin Diesel. It's all a mess. But now it's sounding like he's beefing with Momoa. There have been whispers and reports going around that Vin Diesel is upset with the overacting of Jason Momoa and stealing scenes, you know, when he was in there. And listen, I get the rumor because in the scenes that Jason Momoa and Vin Diesel all are in together, all eyes are on Momoa. Momoa is doing a much better job bringing the scenes to life than Vin Diesel did in those scenes because, you know, Dominic Trotto, and I say this as a fan of both Vin Diesel and of the Fast and Furious franchise, even though I don't think the last couple of movies were necessarily great. I love the franchise, but let's be honest, Dominic Toretto is not exactly a nuclear reactor of charisma magic. <laughs> Uh, the guy, Vin, Vin can be, but I'm just saying the character isn't really necessarily. Well, there are these reports going around that Diesel is really unhappy and upset over what Jason Momoa brought. Apparently he's upset that people are giving positive attention to Jason Momoa while the movie itself is getting negative reviews. Anyway, this comes to us from the folks over at CBR who wrote the following. Among Diesel's reported gripes with Momoa's performance was his, uh, uh, penchant for overacting and scene stealing when playing Dante, the androgynous menacing villain opposite Diesel's Dominic Toretto and Fast X. Jealousy is apparently fueling Diesel, Diesel's beef with Momoa. And according to insiders, Momoa is well aware of Diesel sharing these gripes with others. Jason knows he's the flavor of the moment and Vin's jealous of him, one source said, but he doesn't appreciate Vin trying to poison the public against him. This has the potential to be Hollywood's next biggest feud. Currently, Fast X boasts a 54% average critical score on Rotten Tomatoes, with the consensus branding it as irredeemably silly, while other reviews have called out the latest sequel for being too congested and full of itself. All right. He, now, normally, I don't really care about the TMZ stuff. Ooh, which, what's the T? What celebrities don't like other celebrities? But, but there is a practical potential consequence here when it comes to the actual movies. If you listen to Vin Diesel, he wants two more Fast and Furious movies. Like, we know we're getting Fast X Part 2 or Fast 11, whatever they're going to call it. But he recently implied that he would like to actually make Fast X a trilogy and have two more films. Now, whether or not they'll get to do that is another question. Heading into its, uh, well, it's it's been out for a little while now. Fast and the Furious, Fast X has only made 520 something million dollars so far. Now that's huge for a lot of movies, but when your budget of your movie is $340 million, I mean, this movie needs to make somewhere around $750 million just to break even. So I don't know if the studio is going to be green lighting, making Fast X a trilogy or not. But still, if Vin Diesel wants two more movies, he's already had a very, very public feud with Dwayne Johnson. And if these rumors are true and these reports are true, that he's now having beef with Jason Momoa, what is this going to do to his ability to attract new stars in the two more films. We've seen the addition of a couple of more already. We had Brie Larson enter this one, Jason Momoa enter this one, all that kind of stuff. But if rumors like this persist and you're a, a big star and your agent calls you and says, hey, they want you in the next Fast and the Furious movie, could there be agents and actors who go, pass. I don't want to become the subject of the next big public feud and beef with Vin Diesel on here. And it sounds like he might be difficult to work with. Now, all that said, I do not believe these reports. I just don't. I can understand the beef between Vin Diesel and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. These are two ultra al alpha males. Dwayne, they had a big disagreement. If you listen to Dwayne The Rock Johnson over work ethic and how certain things are done, it's a, it was procedural 
uh, conversations, procedural arguments, the way you do things, how you get things done, right? I don't believe that Vin Diesel, because the Fast and the Furious is ultimately his franchise. And any praise that the franchise gets, even if it's the performance of Jason Momoa, ultimately that is praise for Vin Diesel because this is his franchise. Anything good is said about the franchise is a reflection on him. So I don't believe this particular report personally. I, I don't believe it one second. I think Jason Momoa came into this movie, delivered exactly what Vin Diesel was hoping Jason Momoa to, would deliver in only the way Jason Momoa is uniquely positioned to do it. And I think he's got to be thrilled with it. Now, I don't know this for a fact. Vin hasn't called me to say, hey, John, those reports of me beefing with Jason or bullshit. Like he, he hasn't, he hasn't called me to say that, but I, again, it just makes no sense. I don't believe it for whatever, because with it getting kind of slammed critically, I would think Vin Diesel right now, any praise that the movie is getting, he's more than welcoming it. But anyway, I think a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. From the gas pump to the grocery store, your utility bills and favorite streaming services, inflation is everywhere. Seriously, make it stop. Thankfully, there's one company out there that's giving you a much needed break. It's Mint Mobile. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just $15 a month. You guys know that ever since I switched to Mint Mobile, I've been saving almost 70% a month over my old phone plan. For people looking Looking for extra savings this year? Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All of their plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just $15 a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? According to the rumors, Vin Diesel is now beefing with Jason Momoa the way he did with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And if that's true, it could affect the future of the franchise being able to bring in the talent maybe that they want. I personally don't believe the rumor at all, and I've told you why. Do you believe the rumor? Do you think it could have a practical complication on how the future movies are made? Yes or no? Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching our video. Make sure you click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. And by the way, we do the John Campy Show podcast every day. So go and subscribe to it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or whatever your favorite podcasting app of choice is.